Did Bob Marley get killed by the CIA? Well, this theory says yes. Hey everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, but most importantly, hit the like button, please. I would greatly appreciate that. I'm trying to get this video to one like. Just one like. Just, just one, okay? Uh, I am back, yes, I made a whole video about how I was gonna quit YouTube. We're not going to quit YouTube, why I did quit YouTube, uh, but I read a quote somewhere, and it was actually a very important quote. It said, and I'm paraphrasing it, okay? It basically said, to gain fame quickly is essentially going to cause you to, to have more pride, but to gain notoriety and fame slowly, it grows character, right? And so basically what I noticed is that I think my mind got too wrapped up into what this all is. And so I decided to just believe in myself and believe in what I'm doing here. And I believe in all of you. You guys are my fans, who, whether you're from YouTube or TikTok or wherever you're from, I appreciate you and I'm here to make content. So I'm so happy that you're here and I'm, and I'm happy uh, so much uh, to announce what's been going on on TikTok and it's been going well. So I decided that I'm gonna put myself out and I'm gonna just keep going until I make it uh, to be the very best that no one ever was. Now that I got the Pokemon reference out the way, today we're actually talking about something really interesting. So basically today we're talking about whether or not Bob Marley was killed by the CIA. If you're coming from TikTok, then you saw kind of the short form of that, but it, it gets a lot deeper and a lot more detailed. And I'm glad that if anyone is coming from TikTok, you're, you're watching this video because you get to see a lot deeper detail, a lot more evidence supporting the theories that I have and for those of you that are YouTube natives um, you're gonna you're gonna watch it and you're gonna be here and we're gonna we're here we're doing it let's do it so basically everybody knows Bob Marley he was a prolific musician and I'm telling you you guys all of you should know a Bob Marley song if, if you don't know one at least know one love one love one heart let's get together and be all right I think that's the lyric. go research who Bob Marley is if you don't know so essentially, Bob Marley died uh, back in 1981. Now, the reasoning behind his death is actually, it's been debated, hotly debated in the conspiracy community, the community I am deeply a part of. And the reason why it's been debated is because people believe there are many reasons why Bob Marley died. And a lot of people believe it's one particular theory that they believe the most in and is that he was killed by the CIA. Yes, the center of intelligence agency, the one here in the United States that we all know and love. That's sarcasm, we don't. We don't at all. The reason why we don't is because the CIA is known, and I want you guys to understand what I'm saying here. The CIA is known for its counterintelligence in its own country. Um, there are many people in our country, uh, people of color uh, specifically, who have been attacked and berated and destroyed completely. Any movement, uh, any type of rhetoric built around something that the United States government didn't like, that entire movement was erratic. Take note, the Black Panther Party, that's a great example. So, Bob Marley, unfortunately, was one of those people who we believe was killed by the CIA. Now, one of the reasons why he was killed is, is because he used to actually talk about peace, unity, togetherness, and the government did not like that, especially around the time where he first came out, around the 60s, 70s. It's because around that time, it was something called the Vietnam War. Um, the government was just doing things that were quite unsavory, and they wanted to make sure that the United States was in support of them. Of course, millions of people were not in support of the American government and the war efforts and what they were doing. And people like Bob Marley would come out and literally talk against the war, talk against the war effort, talk against what the United States and the other bodies were doing with weapons and other sorts of things. So people believe that the United States government did not like that. Now, what are our pieces of evidence to go through? Well, it's simple. There is a man uh, named Carl Colby. Carl Colby, people believe, was the man who actually gave the shoes to Bob Marley that caused him to have cancer in his foot and subsequently die. 
So yes, Bob Marley died from, um, I believe is a form of melanoma. Uh, I'll correct myself here on the screen to give you guys more uh, context to that. And essentially the cancer spread through his body and he died. Now many people ask the question, well how's that even possible? What, what, what do you mean? You know, how did a shoe, you know, give him the, the, the cancer in the first place? Well it's simple. So essentially the shoe, people believe, had a uh, piece of metal or copper inside of the shoe um, that actually was laced with chemicals, thereby giving him uh, a, essentially it killed him uh, slowly over time and essentially those chemicals uh, got into his body, radiation, and, and it eventually caused his toe to get cancer and it spread throughout the rest of his body. Now the reason why this gentleman named Carl Kobe came up in the, in the theory is because his father, okay was the director of the cia his name was william colby now the director of the cia any director of the cia look him up right uh, okay look up any director from the cia and you will see their crazy terrible past and the things that they've done and they're they're horrible okay uh william colby is is not excluded from that and people believe that carl colby his son actually plotted uh to go against bob marley in this way and get him killed now this is not the first attempt against bob marley's life people don't understand that bob marley was actually um there was a, an assassination attempt against Bob Marley back in the 1970s, specifically 1976. So Bob Marley was actually staying at his residence and literally three gunmen came to try and kill him in his home in Jamaica. The assassination attempt failed. A lot of people don't know this because it's information that is not given, it's information that is not uh, sent out over the broadcast. People don't know about this because people don't want you to know about this. That's why you're here at Song Theory. We're here to give you the goods, the juice, okay? Extra information you're not going to hear anywhere else. Or if you have heard it anywhere else, it's been stifled and a lot of people don't talk about it now. But you're here, you're hearing this from me. Yes, Bob Marley has had an assassination attempt against him assassination uh, i say that word terribly assassination <laughs> assassination attempt against him back in 1976 so to believe that somebody tried to finish the job okay is not too far off it actually makes a lot of sense anytime in american history when somebody uh was a target of the american government the american government did everything in their power to make sure that person died whether it failed the first time, or the second time, or the third time, I guarantee you, the fourth time, it worked. So with everything that we've added up so in this video, right, understanding that Bob Marley was a prolific and literally one of the most famous musicians back in the 60s and 70s, people knew that his message was so powerful. People knew that his influence was extremely powerful. Of course, the American government saw that as a threat. Going forward, the American government decided, well, since the first assassination attempt in 1976 did not work, we're going to try to get him in another way. So, according to the theory, Carl Colby gave him the shoes as a gift, and those shoes were essentially laced with radioactive uh, material that gave him cancer that killed Bob Marley. Now, whether or not you believe that, that's totally up to you. This is a theory, okay? And comment below, tell me what you think. Do you think this is true? Do you think this is fake? What What is your perspective on this? And do you believe that the American government has done this to other people? Because if you don't believe that, I can show you evidence that will, that will basically prove that the American government has tried this in other places and in other countries. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video and thank you for once again coming and watching this. I have more song theories and I'm going to be pumping out content as consistently as possible. And I, I say this because I know that it takes work. Everything in life takes work and it takes time and it takes practice and practice, practice, why can't I say anything right? Oh my God. Practice makes perfect so that's why i'm here and i'm giving you guys this content this extra information because i feel like other people aren't going to tell you this stuff you know tell me another song theory channel you know of okay <laughs> you don't and don't say genius because that's not true don't say that that's false anyway guys i love you thank you for watching i hope you have a great day and a better tomorrow god bless i'll see you all later